Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Pisces. Hello, Pisces. So the Four of Wands came out. Partnerships and alliances, throat chakra, accelerated motion. Oh, my goodness. And, you know, honestly, um, wow, we have three, four, five here. <laughs> And then the number eight. So something here is aligning. For, wow. And here's the number seven. So only only number we will be missing is six, which here is six. And it is material and spiritual prosperity. So this will be like the six of wands. So I will say now today, um, this is a timeless collective reading. But today is July 14th. And we have a new moon in Cancer, which is um, on the 17th. Okay. So a lot of you guys right now, I'm hearing like you're cleaning up house. I feel the last few weeks, like the readings have been really, really heavy. Um, I already can feel like this new energy shifting in. So this may be a time for sure for you to make sure that you are constantly trying to raise, raise, raise your vibration, cleanse, clear, um, transmute. But really focus on the positive things. You may be feeling pretty motivated at this time. I feel like there's about to be a major shift in a lot of people's homes. Um, this shift is coming because with the moon energy, we've been in cancer season and we will be going into Leo season very soon. Leo season is going to bring that sun energy, all of that good vitality. Um, you know, there's a there's a good side to everything and a bad side. Right now in cancer season, moving into Leo, we see a lot of things that are being exposed the things that are being exposed, it brings about this heavy energy because it is, it's, it's betrayal, it's deception, um, the illusions, but that's making way for all of this, like very, very beautiful, bright, just healing energy that's coming in. Something is very different today. Like today feels nothing like yesterday or some of the other days. Um, I've, I've even noticed it in my, my friend, with my friends are like, oh, I'm so motivated today. Um, so yeah, that's very interesting, but we have here the four of wands, you have the three of wands. So what's coming in for you is stability, security, partnerships. This could be business partnerships, um, good friendships, you meeting people who are part of your soul, family, your soul tribe. Um, you could have a, um, a romantic partnership that's um, coming in for you. For some of you, if you already have a person in your life, things may be just moving, um, into something a bit more serious. The throat chakra is here and then we have accelerated motion. So it, it is important for you right now to really be speaking up about how you feel. I don't mean being defensive, but with the throat chakra, the throat chakra is how you are feeling about your passions and your creativity. Don't be afraid to say something, what you truly, truly love. If you love a person, don't be afraid to say it. If you love your job, don't be afraid to say it. If you're starting a business, even if you don't have clients and you haven't made a dime yet, if it's your passion, don't be afraid to speak up and speak out about the things that you truly care about because you're in this energy of manifestation with the eight of wands being here. So... If there has been any type of deception, envy because the seven of swords is here and the five of wands, this is competition, jealousy, obstacles and challenges. You're going to be rewarded for this. This is like redemption coming in because here's the three of pentacles, the six of pentacles, a new beginnings. Wow. And then the heart chakra material harvest. This is so good. Oh, this is good. So you're going to be rewarded for some of you. You're going to be compensated if you've been, um, I just heard falsely accused of something or there's just redemption, restoration, um, vindication here. You're going to receive rewards and recognition. There's definitely some type of financial opportunity or breakthrough that's coming in. Like I said, this has a lot to do with the home. So some of you could be approved for um, real estate deals. You could be approved for a home or a new apartment or a car, but something that is going to actually shift and change things in your home life to make you feel more comfortable so that you can be more in a creative space. Some of you, I'm seeing someone specifically maybe um, changing like a room in your home for, as a, like a creative space or something like that. Some of you are going to soon be preparing nurseries. There's like this nesting energy that's here also. New beginnings though. This is all new energy is coming in. So the obstacles and the challenges, the deception, the envy, the illusions, the confusion, I feel like all of that is sort of being wiped away. 
Yeah, because you needed to have this clean slate in order for you to bring in material harvest. So oftentimes people, when their um, when their money is blocked, it's because their, their throat and their heart chakra is blocked. It's because they're not standing up for themselves. They are accepting things that don't really um, make them feel at peace or don't bring them abundance or certain people sometimes are kind of, you know, um, sort of in a sellout energy. And honestly, we're all taught to kind of just bend and conform to whatever society wants us to do. As you step out of that, you're going to experience this accelerated emotion when you start living for yourself, doing what truly makes you happy. So the waiting game is here. And then the truth. So if you've been waiting on the truth about a situation, you're about to get it. Wow. The Ace of Pentacles. And then here is the Eight of Cups. So you are going to, you, you've gotten the truth or you will be getting the truth about a situation. Someone from your past is most likely going to um, have to watch you win and they will be suffering in silence because you have the waiting game here and the truth. So something could be significant even about July 20th. Because we have here this deception and envy card with the waiting game. This is like the two of um, the two of wands. So someone here hasn't really known exactly what step they should take next. Okay. That's coming to an end. Also, if someone has been around you and they've been hesitant to work with you in business or in a relationship or whatever the case may be because of some type of illusion, in some cases, even black magic, just something that was very deceptive. Um, from someone that was projecting a negative energy onto them, whether they knew it or not, that's all being cleared away, okay? Whatever has been hidden in the background that has been some type of blockage, obstacle, or challenge for you in any way is being cleared out. And I know it is because here is the, this truth card is, is the same as like the judgment card. So someone has been waiting on judgment. I feel like you even have been waiting like, when are my when will you get good karma? It's not so much focusing on when will other people get bad karma, but being more focused on when will you receive your good karma for your good deeds. And this is saying with the six um of pentacles that you will, the good that you have put out, it will be returned to you. And it's coming in the form of a new beginning. And for some of you, it's um these are all pentacles out here. It's a new financial um, opportunity, but it's this financial opportunity is going to, it's coming from you being able to open your heart because finally you have a clean slate. You know that the snakes aren't around you, but whatever this financial opportunity or breakthrough is happening for you, it's also going to open you up to love, okay? So if you are someone right now where it's like your love life has kind of been... Um, sort of block because of even like financial challenges that's going to change a lot of you your love life has been blocked by financial challenges because someone was in the background purposely trying to block your opportunities so that you could not actually manifest security stability or or love okay but again whatever has happened whatever was sent in to break your heart it was so that your vision would be fixed and so that you would have a clean slate so be thankful for that yeah, and here you have, um, this is the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. So you're walking away from something, something that was causing you obstacles and challenges. It was full of deception. Okay, this was for some of you a false lover and you're walking right into abundance and you're going to be able to burn, build a firm foundation. But again, you had to go through whatever you went through because you needed to have your third eye open. And you needed this wisdom. So somebody may be taking a time out right now to rest and rejuvenate because of all of these epiphanies that you're having. Okay. So for some of you don't, um, especially if you have friends, family, loved ones or lovers, it, people may be wanting to take some time out right now as they are thinking about manifestation. Okay. What they need to manifest moving into like Leo season. Yeah. Nine, nine is here. It's all about the fulfillment of wishes after heartache and loss. So you, you may have to kind of take a time out or someone around you may be realizing like, woo, like they are regaining their strength and their power after going through like a, a serious hardship. Something is definitely going to be amplified though, because I see 
The Four of Cups is here with the rest of rejuvenation, and beside it is 16. Four times four is 16. Okay, so something here is about to be like quadrupled. And I feel like what it is with the disruption card here and the Hierophant, this is like divine intervention that's coming in, and it, it's like God is your redeemer. So this firm foundation that you need, that you need money for, or like I said, this financial breakthrough, it's going to come in for you. But the reason why it was on hold was because you were not seeing something clearly. You needed to go through something to realize how strong you are, how strong you are spiritually. Some of you too, it's like you're truly um, karma, okay? Judgment is here. Um, the TV in front of me, it's, I'm, I don't watch this TV, but it just has like the Netflix um, homepage on here. So of course you just see all the, the previews, but I just saw, um, I think the, I don't know if this is a movie or a show, but I literally just saw um, The Last Kingdom, Seven Kings, must die or something like that i think that i just saw it'll pop up again but anyway that makes me think that with this spiritual warfare that so many people have been going through um we all know about like the seven princes of hell you know those seven deadly sins and we're moved we're here in the the seventh month um there are Things that have to, I'm seeing here now, fake profile. I don't know why I'm paying attention to this right now. I never do. <laughs> but um, some of you definitely could have had someone who was pretending with you for a very long time. They're going to be caught. This Seven of Swords energy, they're going to be caught. Yeah, and now it says burn the house down. <laughs> yeah, something here that was fake and phony is being revealed eight of swords yeah with the six of swords and the death card wow eight of swords six of swords death and the strength card yeah you're coming out of some kind of illusion mental imprisonment here this feeling of being trapped this feeling of you um the like the the restrictions and almost being hopeless and helpless always feeling like you're a victim in some type of situation the six of swords you're moving on now to peaceful calm and water so whatever this baggage is from some type of situation is full of illusions and deception you're moving on away from it. you're taking the lessons from it and you're going through this death which is bringing about a huge rebirth and transformation and it's making you much stronger with the strength card here you're becoming very strong as a result of going through whatever this situation is that you recently had to come out of but you're going to have to quickly take action now and not allow yourself to be in this ongoing battle of the nine of wands of just carrying all of this stress and feeling wounded and allowing yourself to be super guarded. Like spirit is saying, no, the will of fortune is here. There is something good coming in for you. So you don't have to be so guarded. And that's what I'm saying. Like with the throat chakra and the heart chakra, it's okay now for you to say that you love yourself, that you love your life or that you love a person because you have things that are coming in that, yeah, it's, it's worthy of you being able to express that you like it, you love it, you enjoy it. A lot of people have felt isolated and imprisoned, like you've been so afraid that someone's going to come in and steal something from you because that's what they've been doing for so long that it's hard for you to even speak out about things that you truly care about. Some people here have even had to really hide relationships because you know that so many people are jealous and envious of your relationship or people are jealous and envious of whatever you're doing, you know, for your financial gains. So you're coming out of that now because your, your enemies are being exposed and set down. Wow, the Ten of Cups. You don't have to be afraid to have love into your life and to actually go on your journey. The Eight of Cups. You, you're walking away from feeling, like I said, restricted and bound. This is so good. Six of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Yeah. You can stop juggling so much. 
Six of Swords. It's been like a lot of baggage that people have been carrying. And it just comes from with this moon energy, things that have been in the background that has caused these subconscious blocks. It's been so much deception around you that it, you know, Knight of Cups, the Seven of Wands. It's like you have someone that's coming in, I feel, that wants to really fight for you. That wants to fight to show you that, you know, there is someone out here who will love you. The King of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Justice card. Yeah. Some of you, you have a person that's going to be coming into your life or if they're already in your life. Wow. It's going to go to the next level. Ooh. This is the King of Pentacles, the Empress, the Justice, the High Priestess, and then the Emperor. I'm really getting like this Isis Osiris energy has been coming out for a while. This King of Pentacles. This divine feminine, these two people, look, you see the emperor and the the emperor and the high priestess are here. This king of pentacles, by connecting with this divine feminine, is going to balance the scales because this divine feminine is a high priestess. And it's going to make this king of pentacles become an emperor. It's because of whatever gift anointing or blessing that this divine feminine has that divine feminine is going to be willing to share with this king of pentacles the king of pentacles is someone who is powerful and this is falling here someone has a very majestic partner but their partner perhaps has not fully embraced like their strength because maybe maybe it's this masculine that's coming out of this illusion keep in mind you guys when you watch my readings especially if you're new to my channel I'm not telling anyone to go back to a person from the past on my channel. Everyone has different beliefs about twin flames and soulmates. A twin flame is not someone, in my opinion, that comes into your life to torment you, traumatize you, and torture you. Okay? Um, if you have a divine counterpart, my belief and understanding is typically this is someone that you meet once you have become self-aware and awakened. The person that you meet at the beginning of your journey that introduces you to your own shadow, typically to me, that comes off more as a past life karmic soulmate. The person that I'm talking about now could be someone that you have not even met. Okay, so before you jump on the being stuck in the past bandwagon, you can save it because people are trying to move forward and have happiness, victory and success in their life. And you cannot do that by staying in the past. So I just want to put that out there and I'm not going to be afraid to say that anymore because whenever there's positivity, everyone wants to jump in and say, oh, I'll never go back. I'm not talking about a person that you know you don't want to go back to. As I said before, a reading can be a future prediction. A lot of people have a divine counterpart that obviously you have not met yet. So please start to frame your, your mindset to be optimistic and open to something new coming in. That starts with you releasing the past and the drama from your past. You will sometimes meet people who are becoming awakened. This king of pentacles with this empress here, there is balance. Karmic justice that is coming for both of these two people. This is two people who could have both been, recently been in a lot of spiritual warfare because they both are divine. But this divine feminine has something and it could just be, like I said, this anointed, this divine feminine most likely is a high priestess. So this is someone who has a lot of sacred wisdom. This person may be um, psychic. They may have dreams with this high priestess energy, very strong intuition. When you pair that with someone who is a king of pentacles, a type of person who understands stability, loyalty, having structure and discipline. These are the two type of people who can come together and build an empire. They can break generational curses. They can build businesses and legacy together. However, these are two different people. This is for sure a feminine and a masculine energy. This king of pentacles may not be as um, spiritually awakened and, and aware as this divine feminine, or they could be, but one of these people is definitely more spiritual than the other. This masculine energy seems to be more grounded. Earth sign energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. 
But this person may be sort of introduced a bit more to spirituality. Once they connect with a divine feminine who is a high priestess, they will become the emperor. Because what this person, this could be someone who operates mainly out of logic right now. When they come across this divine feminine and they get more in tune with themselves and more in divine alignment, the gifts that this king of pentacles already has is going to sort of be... Um, almost like cultivated somewhat by this divine feminine and they will quickly become the emperor someone here is about to go through a major ascension and an upgrade why because they're coming out of some kind of mental imprisonment and going into the ten of cups seven of pentacles queen of swords yeah someone's hard work is paying off some of um, the Divine Feminine Collective, especially, um, you could at this time be very independent <laughs> because of what you've gone through and your strength. You don't want to show any signs of weakness, but you're going into a season where it's going to be necessary for you to have a bit of vulnerability with the right people. And here you have the Six of Cups and the King of Swords. So here's the king and the queen of swords, the six of cups and the seven of pentacles. I feel like this is a past life connection. And the reason why the queen and the king of swords is coming here is because this is two divine beings here who have had to fight very hard to come out of some kind of karmic cycle so that they can go into the ten of cups. The queen of cups is here, the three of wands, ten of swords, three of swords here. And there's people in the background who still want to rush in to derail these people so that they don't connect but th this is two people yeah they're moving forward the chariot cancer season leo season. this is two people who th they've gone through an awakening they're moving forward into a passionate new beginning after an ongoing battle of something very toxic and karmic yeah it's like the illusion is over someone is springing into action the king of wands this could be the feminine or the masculine, male or female, but someone here is a natural born leader. Someone perhaps is considering like entrepreneurship, just being overall more independent, making more like um, bold decisions in their life after sort of being a bit afraid that the moon card is here. Someone could have been somewhat afraid to do certain things because here's the nine of swords and the five of cups. So after dealing with a lot of guilt and regret and grief from being let down in the past and heartbreaks and whatever just having a lot of suffering worry anxiety maybe even dealing with depression someone is now finally getting back into that energy of knowing like hey i'm i'm a real leader the moon still came out the moon and the king of wands the nine of pentacles yeah somebody is about to get really focused on their money really focused Somebody is turning all their pain into purpose and their purpose is going to turn into profit. Someone is finally getting out of their feelings. They're not in a mental entrapment or imprisonment anymore. They're just, they're over it. Someone is like time, time up five of pentacles. Someone here has definitely had some issues with their finances and it comes from a, like a lack mindset of someone feeling like they won't have what they truly want or they can't get what they truly need. Or that they're always going to be alone. Or they're always going to be struggling. Or some, somebody is finally coming out of their energy. Because for some, <laughs> there's a significant relationship that has been manifested. The Hierophant, the Two of Cups, and the Magician. And also, I feel like God is coming in helping someone to connect with a soulmate. That is going to assist them more with manifestation. And this is, again, going back to what I was saying before. Sometimes because of the hardship and the pain and the breakups and all of the unwelcome changes that we go through, when you meet a person who is assigned to you and not just attached to you through karma, you will miss an opportunity to be a teacher and to also learn because you're so busy trying to say, oh, I'll never deal with someone. Every, nobody's going to come to you perfect because trust me, you don't go to anyone perfect either. So at this time, as these divine connections and contracts are coming into fruition, you have to be careful not to go and judge every book by its cover. 
You can meet a person today who may not have as much as you, but in six months, they could be a multimillionaire and you could lose everything. You just never really know how the cookie is going to crumble because I see somebody here who was coming out of something sort of dark. And you have to be careful because most people, when you see individuals go through something they, and they present themselves, you assume that, oh, they're just an opportunist. This is where your heart is going to truly be placed on a scale and, and measure to see how heavy is your heart. Because can you still go out and love like you've never been hurt before? Someone is manifesting an amazing connection here. And this connection comes right after someone has had financial hardship, regret, grief, pain, family betrayal, and everything. It's like this This is the, the gift. The four of wands was the first card. This is the gift from the divine. That this stability in the home. The family, the happiness, the marriage, the commitment. Wow. The emperor and the high priestess came out. I cannot. <laughs> and the five of swords. The five of swords is going to speak of someone finally just surrendering or five of swords is like conflict. This for some people and then the four of cups behind it. Somebody here, definitely a masculine, has been slowed down and someone wanted this person to miss an opportunity with this high priestess because this emperor is right now a king of pentacles. A part of their divine contract to becoming an emperor, it has to include the high priestess. So this person now, there's been slow progress in a connection here or when you meet this person, it's going to move, it's going to be slow and steady. But someone here is willing to work really hard. Look at this. The Ace of Wands and the Temperance. The Ace of Wands, the Temperance, the High Priestess, and the Emperor. This yin and yang energy. It's, it's perfect balance. It's harmony. It's peace. This is a purpose-filled connection for some. It's going to lead to a lot of new ventures and opportunities with the Ace of Wands. This is two people who are going to inspire one another to work harder to follow their dreams and their passions. Yeah, it's a com it's a commitment. It's a connection. It's a collaboration that's going to help you drop a lot of your burdens. So it's like really you're having this financial breakthrough, but you're meeting your other half also. And there will be victory and success here. Because it's like this, it's like spirit has went and investigated whatever was happening in the background with this hermit energy, whoever was watching you, stalking you, spying on you, the hidden enemies, they've already, they're facing judgment. And this side said that, I don't know if you, there's a gnat right here. Look at that. It's flying, just flying. Whoever has been watching you, stalking you, spying you, they're facing judgment. And look at this, page of swords. Somebody has been watching your 10 of pentacles. Or watching to see who or what was coming towards you that was going to bring you the look, the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups. Because some of you, you're going to build something with a person that's going to bring in a lot of money. It's going to be legacy. There's a, a business empire, a windfall of abundance coming. And somebody here wanted you confused about this. So that this Four of Wands opportunity, Four of Wands is here in the reverse. Somebody wanted to create an illusion so that you would miss an opportunity to have this Four of Wands. But you're going to have it no matter what. This Four of Wands should be in the upright. These cards are not in the reverse. Only a few of them are. But it's here with the Seven of Cups. Someone was trying to purposely make you choose the wrong thing by watching you because they were holding on to you being stingy greedy secretive possessive why because you have a new love so this could be someone's friend family member or an ex someone is just completely stressed out going crazy about the changes in your love life this person could have sacrificed you in the past and now they see that you're walking away and you are giving up on this connection completely and you're embracing something new 
Now someone is up. They can't sleep. They're worried. They have all of this anxiety because they're full of regret and grief. Because now this person can't get over you. They, they're having a hard time letting go. And it's killing someone or it will when they see you fully in this free spirit of energy taking a leap of faith with this mental clarity going on towards your justice. And this justice is eight of wands to start. It's taking you right towards so much happiness, wish fulfillment, healing, like you being very creative, confident. Some of you are going to be in the public eye if that's what you would like to do. Eight of wands, you're going to be traveling. I just heard destination wedding with the star and the eight of wands here. It's a lot of good stuff out here. And then the queen of pentacles with the lovers here. Before, like I said, the king of pentacles. The king of pentacles is choosing this empress. But there could be a queen of pentacles somewhere that someone is leaving behind. This person has been secretly competing with a divine feminine. Who's already on their spiritual journey. This is a karmic lover who's been in the background. Competing with someone where they really don't compare. And I mean, everyone at some point has been in a karmic energy. I cannot believe this net is flying around like this. I'm just going to, I'm going to assume that it's, it's the flowers maybe, but those are fresh flowers. <laughs> It's still a heavy energy, though, of um, spying and monitoring. So just be mindful of that. I just want to pull a few of these um, love cards. Whoa. Redemption. Wow. See? Redeem oneself. I am sorry. So someone may want to apologize or redeem themselves. For some of you, you have a person that's already in your life. Yeah, I, was, I knew it. Separation is here. For some of you, if you've been separated from someone, and again, I'm not talking about someone that's been terrible. Even the healthiest relationships sometimes go through um, separations. And it could not, it doesn't even sometimes have to be a physical separation. It could be just you have pulled your energy back or someone may have sort of detached a bit from you. This, is, this could have for some been due to confusion and illusions and that could have been a result even of spell work or something like that but someone is going to be coming in very soon telling you that they're sorry because they're going to see something more clearly so you and someone could have had some time apart i don't for a lot of you if someone is already in your life and it's truly a divine connection it probably hasn't been a long time this could be a few days or a week or so of you and someone just saying hey i sort of need a little bit of space because they could be needing to heal and purge out this seven of cups, five of cups energy. You know, a lot of times when people kind of go to the next level in a relationship, you will reflect on the past and it's it's natural and it's normal to need a little bit of time to yourself to, to see like, is this really what I want to do? You know, are you completely done with the past? Because if you're going to go into a divine connection, this emperor, high priestess, temperance like energy, this is two becoming one. You cannot bring anything from your past in with you. And that's why I think it's so important for the collective to know those people who always reflect on the past, <laughs> you shouldn't ask anymore why or something new, not the, because your energy is still always gravitating towards the past. The past person who hurts you, the family member who doesn't like you, the friend who you know is jealous of you. When you really let all of that stuff go, I mean, with full forgiveness, then you can balance yourself. You can go into union with yourself and then it will bring in an actual counterpart. Like I said, for me, my idea of twin flames is very different. Most of the time when I listen to readers, they always speak of twin flames as a person from the past. That is possible, of course, but a person who has left you, abandoned you, and triggered every bit of your shadow in the most hurtful way, to me, there are, um, there are divine beings out here who will show you parts of yourself that need healing and they don't have to hurt you in the process. This idea that you have to struggle to have love and you have to be traumatized, that's that's not that's not true you have here boundaries it says speak up and self-discipline the throat chakra is out here 
All right. So there could have been a bit of temptation. If there's a relationship here, there could have been some temptation or someone was trying to send some type of negative energy or confusion or chaos to try and tempt someone. This could have been a false twin flame or a counterfeit person in the background. Yeah, because you have happiness, look, and wish fulfillment coming. Earth. <laughs> Earth. Remember earlier, the king of pentacles. And it says your life partner. Someone here who brings the grounded energy, especially if you're watching and you're like this high priestess, you need that structure because you're probably always floating kind of in the spiritual realm. So to have like this earth energy and this person may not be their sun sign, they may not be an earth sign. They could just have a lot of earth in their chart. But the earth energy is the one who is grounded. They're stable. Okay. The Hierophant, they could be like a Taurus, someone who understands, you know, higher, higher teachings. Um, they may have a very close relationship with God, with their higher self. You know, they're, they're traditional in a sense. They just believe in order, discipline, structure. That's not a bad thing for someone who is a high priestess or a divine feminine, like Empress, who's very creative and free spirited. You get to build much more when you have that balance. So someone here could be extremely feminine. And it, it's a good thing when you have that masculine energy because the two of you can you can bring um bring all of your 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 dreams to life, really, because you have the right amount of balance. It's a good blending. Retreat. <laughs> and then you have divine feminine retreat. So some of you, I said that earlier. You may be um, choosing to travel, to get away, to have like some kind of new experience, divine feminine. You may want to go like on a solo trip or going somewhere with this person. It just depends. Okay. But something here has been complicated. I feel like the, the confusion is clearing away. And if there's been a bit of a separation, someone is realizing that they have unconditional love for you. And yes, they are ready to make plans with you. This could be travel plans or anything. But yeah, coming very soon is wow a cosmic gift and there's a third party in the background who's been trying to control this situation who is now i'm pretty sure about to realize that like they they just cannot stop you i feel like with these two cards i see third party and then you see this manipulation here there's a karmic feminine that's been trying to manipulate the energy of a divine masculine there's also a karmic masculine that has been trying to manipulate the energies of a divine feminine. So for these divine counterparts who are coming together, you guys are possibly coming out of the chaos and the confusion and the conflict that has been projected onto you from these karmics in your life because those contracts are over. The divine masculine here definitely had to realize that they had a karmic in their energy that they had to release in order for them to finally have material blessings and to be able to offer any type of cosmic gift to a divine connection, a soulmate or a twin flame. But they first had to cleanse themselves of some type of unclean spirit from perhaps like a past lover who carried the spirit of like of the Jezebel or something like that. Whoa, that's way too many cards. Soul purpose is here. New love, water. Wow. Exactly like I said. So wrong timing is here. Some of you guys, you may have been thinking like, oh, this is the wrong timing for this situation. I'm still in the background. Someone was trying to make you miss an opportunity. But this new love is part of your soul contract and your soul purpose. And look at here, you have water and earth. That empress energy being very intuitive. Empress you know, when you see it in tarot, we say it's Libra or Taurus, but divine feminine could be anybody. But the high priestess typically is like Pisces. The high priestess can be anyone as well, but the high priestess is usually for sure like Pisces, sometimes even Cancer and Scorpio. All right. So you have out here, like I said before, the water and earth. You have someone that kind of goes with the flow and then you have someone here that's very structured and balanced. You have someone out here that works with, you know, more of the elements of earth. They're grounded, stable. Um, and then someone that's more with water. You know, that's your, your psychic, your intuition, your dreams. Someone out here could be more religious while the other one is a bit more spiritual. But 
you have shocking news coming in about finances. So again, there's a financial breakthrough that's coming. And if there's been any type of like separation or pause between two people, you have a good change coming. A lot of passion is coming and you and this person have been mirroring each other. You have a jealous person in your energy that was trying to stop you from this person and whoever you are connected to now or that you're about to connect with. Unfortunately, they also have had to get away from a very low vibrational karmic energy. But you guys are releasing. You're moving on. You're getting the karmics out of your energy so that you can have a reconciliation. A reconciliation could be with someone that's currently in your life and you've just been on you know, a, a little bit of a, a, a separation that that doesn't mean that you've broken up with this person. You're not talking to them because I feel like when people truly mean like a counterpart, like, yeah, there are separations to occur. But when people truly, truly love you and they're spiritually awakened and aware, they, they don't leave you for months and years. That's why when some people, oh, my twin flame, a person that goes a year and they don't talk to you. What, what do you call that? <laughs> How can you say that that's a, a counterpart to you? That's someone playing a bunch of narcissistic, silent treatment games with you. Someone saying, hey, I need a few days because I'm processing some things. That's an adult who wants to build a life with someone. It's totally different. But again, you know, it, it's how you feel about what you learned during your awakening. But I feel like there are counterparts out here who are both um, mirroring each other and going through their own individual awakenings. But there could have been some disharmony. This disharmony, it came from the outside influences and the projections of these karmics who are being pushed out of your energy. All right. But someone is truly devoted to you. Or they will be. If you haven't met this person. Someone that you're manifesting is going to be very devoted. Very soon. Ooh, very soon. Emotional support and deeper intimacy. For some of you, this is a past life connection. So for some of you, if there's been a little bit of a disconnect, like I said, someone is going to be ready to be a bit more emotional, more vulnerable. We had throat chakra and heart chakra earlier. Someone's going to be willing to say, like, you know, I care about you. I love you. I, I want to go to the next level or whatever the case is, whatever their desires are. Yeah, their desire is for you to be their life partner. And they just hope that you will have faith. Wow. But this is something that it's a divine union that just require patience. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> this is just so sweet. I love it. Y'all yeah, get so excited when we have a good message. <laughs> <laughs> because lately, my goodness, the messages have been like, whoo, doom and gloom every day. In fact, I'm really going to just leave it here. I'm not going to dig into this anymore. I'm going to leave this just as it is. The karmics have been pushed out. Everyone is making their way through their ascension, their dark nights of the soul, being patient, going towards divine union. Continue to have faith. Your life partner is going to let it be known that they know that you're their life partner very soon or they're going to be entering your life. I'm comp I'm gonna just going to leave it here. If anything, I'll pull some manifestation cards. <laughs> well, um, since we have new moon energies, serendipity is here. So everything happens for a reason. Um, I'll pull these moon oracles. Just to close out, but we're gonna leave the good stuff as the good stuff. I'm not gonna dig any. We know it's some haters in in the background, but pay them no mind. <laughs> you have clarity now. You have clarity. More clarity is coming in, but no more doom and gloom. Focus on what's gonna bring you peace. Compassion is here well-being the truth some of you um life purpose while in forgiveness and reconciliation so like i said if you've had um any type of sort of obstacles or challenges in any of your relationships not just romantic but even with friends or family because of the warfare that has been going on and all of the confusion and the chaos and conflict 
Um, the witches, wizards, and warlocks, that's what they do. They send a lot of um, chaos and conflict to you, to your home, your vehicle, and all of your relationships and everything so that you will have issues in your home and your finances. But you, reconciliation in home is here. It's saying that healing energy is being brought back into your home and you're getting aligned for your life purpose. You sort of had to go through something as of lately, perhaps. Um... It was just a spiritual battle, all right? And you probably are going to start having dreams where you're going to have more, you know, good dreams. Um, your psychic abilities, maybe you have a gift of being like a prophetic dreamer that's going to increase or these people who have been trying to invade your dreams are being kicked out. So you're just going to be in more of a, fl a free-flowing type of energy. And like I said, this is going to really bring that peace that you've been missing back into your home let's get a few moonology cards i'm sorry y'all it's a bird just on my windowsill Full moon in Cancer, a personal issue re reaches resolution. Luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. We have the Sagittarius energy here. A new start is coming. New moon in Cancer is here. So this is like seven cards that fell out. We are in the year of the number seven. So I'm going to take off seven. So we have... A personal issue reaches resolution. That's new moon in Cancer. I'm sorry, full moon in Cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. So the new moon is coming up in like three days. Hold your vision. The answers that you need are coming. This is full moon in Gemini. Gemini will represent the lovers. Like I said, if someone has been in the background trying to swap destinies with you or make a person see you in a negative light to try to... Um, you know, sabotage any connections, blessings, or opportunities in your life. This coming, this ending. You have a new start that's coming, and communication is the key. New moon in Gemini. So we have two cards of Gemini here, um, two cards of Cancer. So someone with Cancer and Gemini um, in their chart could be significant, or just this recent Cancer Gemini season. All right, and then new moon in Sagittarius. There also could be someone out here who has a relationship. Someone could be um, a Cancer and a Sagittarius. Either these two people were in a karmic situation and that's finally being completely like cleansed out. Or these two people are coming together. Take it however it resonates. But there is this emphasis here on communication, throat chakra energy, Cancer and Sagittarius. Cancer is things being hidden, heightened intuition. And then Sagittarius, again, is self-control, um, purpose, harmony, balance. Your loved ones are safe. There's been a lot of illusions here, though, with this Cancer energy. I feel like there, because I know for a sure fact in the readings as of lately, there's definitely a Cancer person who has been floating in these energies that has been on, like, the really, really dark side doing some really crazy stuff. And it's being revealed. Yeah, trust the universe. It says first quarter moon in Aquarius and full moon in Libra. Find a balance. So someone out here could have Libra in their chart as well. I'm picking up a masculine who has Libra and Sagittarius in their chart and maybe Earth. This is a very diplomatic type of person. And I'm feeling like there is a karmic feminine out here who has a lot of Gemini and Cancer in their chart. Possibly this person is um, emotionally erratic and all over the place. Yeah, it says here, lighten up. Last quarter moon in Leo. Leo season, though, <laughs> let your fears dissolve. There's for sure some like, cancer season is like crazy. And there's a cancer here, for sure. Someone who has heavy, heavy cancer in their chart. Full moon in Gemini. Cancer in Gemini. And then full moon in... Taurus, it says detoxify and breathe through the tension, full moon in Scorpio. Wow, new moon in Cancer, relax. New moon in Gemini, think it through. 
Y'all, it's okay. So I'm getting Leo, Cancer, Gemini, Taurus. But the new moon in Virgo, trust that all will be well. By Virgo season, a lot of this madness is going to be clearing up. But some of you, you're dealing with someone. Um, now, these are more intuitive messages that I'm getting right now. You could have a full, a, a Taurus person in your energy that you're you're getting, you're needing to get rid of. Okay. Um, but you could also have a, a person that has heavy Taurus in their chart that's coming into your life as well. But this full moon detoxified. This also for some, um, the person doesn't have to be a Taurus, but some people are also learning the truth about mother figures. This Taurus energy is making me think of like a mother figure, an empress. New moon in Cancer. You definitely are working on trying to have this peace in your home, but all this Gemini energy here, there's um, some hidden truths about things that have been taking place maybe during moon cycles in the dark and it has a lot to do with communication and some of you um you have people who have for sure been like catfishing you there's definitely stuff going on in the background it's being revealed though and i said i was gonna not get into it so i'm not because i don't want the reading to just get negative but just know the things that have happened in the background to try to throw you off your path where people have been using gadgets technology catfishing whatever all of this stuff is coming to an end your enemies have all been caught i'll i'll, I'll say that your enemies especially look on my tv annihilation your enemies have been caught all right these karmic masculines and feminists who have been coming against these people and these divine um connections they've been caught um and you're gonna start to see changes in the energy your home life is going to have so much more peace yeah so focus on your life purpose